Many FIFA players are familiar with the game's managerial career mode option, but creating a player and kicking off a career with them is quite different. It requires a change of focus and planning to make sure your player is coming out on top. With that in mind, here are our top 5 tips for getting started on this mode. First things first, you want to make sure you're happy with your player during the creation stage. While you can always go back to tweak their look at any time, most of their details are locked in and can't be edited. This includes their position, playing style, height and weight, all of which are key to building the player you want. Height and weight directly affect attributes like speed and strength, so it's important to make sure they're suited to the playing style you intend to use. Taller players start with higher strength and jumping attributes, while shorter players have more pace and agility. Likewise, heavier players also have more strength and balance, but lighter players have much better acceleration. You need to make an early decision on what type of player you want them to be. This is also true with regards to their playing style, which also has a big impact in their starting attributes. For example, a striker can specialise as a finisher, creator or target man, three distinct styles that completely alter the way they should play. If you're having trouble deciding what to go for, modelling them on a real world player you'd like to emulate can help. There's no point wanting to play like Erling Haaland and shaping them up with the attributes of Sergio Aguero. Once you've got your player created, it's time to actually start playing matches with them. You'll have the option to just control them or take control of the entire team. It's perhaps a more realistic experience to play only as your created star. You'll have to find space, make runs and stick to position on defence, but it's also a lot harder to play like this. You'll have to rely heavily on your AI teammates to create chances for you or convert the opportunities you create for them, which can be really frustrating when you might be limited to only one or two per game. By controlling the entire team, you can make your player a focal point of the action, which makes it much easier to meet your objectives, which brings us to the next tip. Completing accomplishments is the fastest way of raising your player's attributes and overall rating, so you want to keep a close eye on what they're asking you to do. You'll receive instant stat increases after finishing the tasks you're asked to do, which could range from executing a number of key passes to scoring a certain match rating in your next game. There are 432 accomplishments in total for outfield players, so there's plenty to wade through, even after you've established yourself as a star player in your team. Completing accomplishments also helps you unlock new celebrations for your player, and more importantly, you'll also unlock traits such as Second Wind or Finesse Shot, which allow you to fine-tune your style and bring a bit of personality into your game. Your player can complete five training drills per week. These are a great way of helping you improve a variety of specific attributes and increase your overall rating outside of matches. The harder the drill, the more potential growth of your attributes. You can save time by simulating these sessions, but the results will be more or less random and lower scores will make your growth slow and tedious. To maximise your attribute gains, you need to hit those coveted A ratings for each drill. You can retry them three times if you play them yourself and you're not happy with the rating you achieved, but crucially, you only get one attempt if you simulate the session. Take the time to master these drills. With a bit of practice, you can virtually guarantee an A rating every time and watch your attributes skyrocket, particularly in those early sessions when your rating is low. When you start your career, you might have visions of bursting onto the scene with your childhood team, quickly nailing down a starting berth and spending your career as a one-club man. However, if your team of choice is the elite, you'll most likely find that opportunities are initially going to be at a premium. Even if you grab the chance to impress in a pre-season tournament, getting meaningful game time could be tricky once the competitive football begins and your player's development will suffer as a result. There's a good chance you'll need to head out on loan to gain the experience to improve, most likely spending a season at a club operating in a lower tier. It might not be as glamorous as banging in goals for Manchester United or Barcelona straight out of the academy, but you'll get a lot more games under your belt a lot quicker, which is better in the long term. More games might mean more opportunities to complete your accomplishments, meaning your rise to the top will be that much quicker. Given your player's starting rating will be about a 67 overall, spending a season playing against similar calibre opponents will also make those early months much more straightforward than watching them struggle against top flight opposition. By the time you return to your parent club at the end of the first season, your rating should have risen enough so that you can compete effectively in the top flight. So there you have it, our tips to transform your player from promising prospect to bona fide superstar on FIFA 20. Share your tips in the comments below.